In general principle, our estate yields on the average 2%. I propose to sell it if we sell the estate and invest in interest-bearing bonds. We receive 4 to 5 percent. 4 to 5! And I think there'll be enough surplus to purchase a villa in Finland. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, would you repeat what you said? I will, with the proceeds, invest in interest-bearing bonds and with whatever residue there is, purchase a small home in Finland. Yes. No, not the Finland part. You, you said the proceeds. The proceeds of what? My sale of the estate. Ah, yes. You see, now that was the thing that caught my attention. You're going to sell the estate? And <laughs> where do I go? And, and, uh, and Sonia here, please? Uh, and my mother, if I may be so picky in? But certainly. All in good time. We cannot do everything at once. No, one cannot. You know, speaking of uh, human ignorance, I always supposed that this estate which you're going to sell belonged to Sonia. No. If I may, as my late father purchased this estate as a dowry for my sister, so that it passed in my ignorance to look upon the law from my sister to Sonia to whom it belongs. Certainly, who denies it? What? what? Of course it belongs to Sonia, without whose consent one would not think of selling it. And, and for whose benefit it shall be sold. For Am Sonia. I out of my mind? Am I raving? Why are we listening to this? Why are we, why please, are we? Please don't contradict Alexander, please. Believe me, he sees far better than we what is right. Well, I'm going to have a drink of water. Then you just to say, Whatever you wish to say, you just... Why do you inflame yourself? Do I say my plan is ideal? It's a plan, just a plan. If it's found unsuitable, I shall discard it. Here, Excellency. Yes. I myself have, in addition to my reverence for your learning, a, yes. a feeling of kinship which brings me close to you. Now, my brother, who I think you know, Grigory Illich, do you know his brother-in-law, Fustian Trofim Lakhidomov? He has a degree, no, not too. Not now, office. Office. Well, not it now. Is Please, no, we're talking degree. business. All right. Ask him. What should I ask him? The estate was purchased from his uncle. Was it not? Yes, it was, for the price at that time. Yes, it was, for the price of 95,000 rubles, of which my father paid down 70, leaving a debt outstanding of... Now, are you following this? Because this estate could not have been bought had I not renounced my share, you see, of my inheritance in favor of my sister, whom I dearly loved, and additionally, had I not toiled like an ox to discharge the remaining debt. Sorry, I brought it up. Which stands free and clear, thanks to me, thanks to my efforts. And here you walk in here and propose throwing me out in the snow. I have managed the estate for 25 years. For 25 years, I have worked. I have sent you the money. And during all that time, not once have you thought to think about the man who worked for you. Not once. 25 years, you have paid me the magnificent sum of 500 rubles a year. 500 rubles a year. And not once did it occur to you that you might increase it. Ivan Petrovich, I'm not a practical man. You could have raised it any time you wanted. Oh, I see. I should have stolen. And you despise me because I'm not a thief. Yes, I should have stolen, and I wouldn't be a pauper today. Sean, please. Vanya, Vanya, words don't ruin good relations. I've lived like a mouse in the wall, my mother and I. Our thoughts and our feelings turned toward you. We talked about your works. We talked about our pride in you. We mentioned your name in awe. Our nights were spent reading your periodicals, your publications, which now fill me with disgust. My eyes have opened now. 
You write about art, you understand nothing about art because you have no soul. You're a Philistine, a fraud, a swine feeding oh, on the I'm leavings of your betters. I'm leaving. You bilked us. Just, you stop. No, I won't stop. I won't. Not finished. I have something else to say. You ruined my life. I lost the best years of my life for you, you thief. You assassin, you ruined my life! I guess I, I, I'm going. What is it you want? And how can you speak to me that way? What gives you the right? You're nothing. Uh -huh. Nothing! You want the estate. It's yours. Take it. Take it! I've no need of it! I can't bear this hell, do you hear me? I can't bear it any longer, I'm leaving! And I've ruined it all. I had talent, intelligence, courage! I could have been a Schopenhauer! I could have been the new Dostoevsky! I could have designed a new philosophy! I... What am I saying? Am I losing my mind? Mama. Mama. This is pain, Mama. 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 Do as Alexander says. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? All right. All right. All right. I know. I know. So, do you think you'll forget me? Jean, please. Jean. Please. Inform me. What is going on? Take him away from me. Am I to live under the same roof with that? He lives right here. I cannot live in the same house with that man. Please. Take him away or I shall have to leave it. I tell you, I will. We are leaving here that today. Nothing, please. Man. May we start the arrangements, please? Papa. We are so unhappy, Uncle and I. What about all the nights that we worked for you? Do you remember? We, we copied out your books for you. We translated your texts for you. We worked without rest, Papa. We didn't spend a penny on ourselves. We sent it all to you. We earned our bread. I know, I know it's wrong, Papa. But please, Papa, just hear me and try to understand us and be charitable. Alexander, have it all out with him. Have it all out with him now, I beg you. I beg you. Very well. Thank you. I'll speak to him. Yes. Did I accuse him? No. What have I accused him of? Nothing. I'm not angry with him, you understand, but... His actions, his actions towards me, one has to say charitably, they are strange. I, for your sake, I'll speak to him. Alexander, be gentle with him. Be calm. Try to calm him. Oh, oh hush, hush, my child. Hush. Oh. The geese, they cackle. The geese cackle. And then they stop. They cackle and then they stop. Oh. Poor little orphan girl. You're trembling. Are you cold? A little linden tea, a little raspberries and tea, and it will pass. You geese! Stop it! Stop it now! Take me away from here. I can't stand it any longer. Uh, what do I think I'm doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs>